Hello and welcome to this episode of Dread Captures, the ultimate destination for those who seek the thrill of witnessing the unexplained. Trail cameras, security cameras, and other recording devices can capture events that occur when no one is around. Our goal is to bring you the latest and greatest footage from the wildlife world and beyond. So whether you're a seasoned cryptozoologist, a veteran hunter, or just a curious viewer, buckle up and get ready for an adventure like no other. Let's get into the captures. Well, dang, I don't think I've ever seen that. Incredible how quickly that bird was on her. I wonder if she was holding something to feed it or if she was there to film the hawk and just happened to get dive bombed. Crazy. I guess we all now know what the prey of these birds sees at their very last moments. This intriguing footage was shared on Instagram by a user named Paranoid Normal. It shows a seemingly ordinary scene from a security camera looking over a back alley where a few young kids are seen swiping some bikes. The video starts off as a seemingly ordinary scene from a security camera looking over a back alley. As we continue, we see a few young kids are uh, stealing these bikes. But keep an eye on one of the kids who goes back for another bike. As he does, something sketchy happens. Just watch it. You'll see a pair of shadowy legs move to the right. The figure then reappears, reaching towards the boy who turns to investigate. Creepy. The figure reemerges once before the video abruptly ends. In the comments, many folks were quick to call this a shadow person sighting. You see, there's a theory among paranormal enthusiasts suggesting that shadow people are a kind of spiritual entity that coexist in our reality. Some speculate they're wandering souls, while others propose they might be interdimensional beings or even extraterrestrials. Whatever they are, a striking number of people across the globe report seeing these shadow beings in a way that's eerily similar, particularly those who suffer from insomnia or sleep paralysis. They often recount seeing shadowy figures in their peripheral vision. So begs the question, are these shadowy figures even real? With the sheer volume of reports, the abundance of testimonials and countless videos appearing to capture them, it's hard not to ponder their existence. Anyhow, I'd love to know what you guys think. I'm not too familiar with shadow people, but I'm interested. About a month ago, um, you know, we wouldn't really certain about what existed out here or what we really had and um, we started getting suspicious because we were sitting on the porch and it was completely quiet outside this next clip is pretty crazy it tells the tale of an unusual visitor trying to break into a family's home just before a big storm a month ago this unsuspecting family living in the backwoods had little idea about the creature lurking in their vicinity unusual events began to unfold as the family was enjoying a calm evening on their porch they heard a loud knock coming from a distance of roughly 50 yards, and that obviously sent chills. And it was loud enough and weird enough that it sent chills down their spine. The father, a retired Air Force serviceman, was in the middle of his evening ritual, smoking his hookah, a habit he picked up during his service years. Almost five minutes after the first knock, they heard a roaring sound echoing from half a mile away. It seemed as though the creature that caused the initial disruption had swiftly moved to a different location. Despite their children making light of the situation, their curiosity was piqued when their neighbor, a highway patrolman, reported similar experiences. This newfound realization seemed to confirm their initial suspicions. As the days passed, they experienced more strange incidents, like recurring knocks moving across the property and an unidentifiable whoop echoing from the tree line. The pace of these eerie events picked up, with the family feeling as though the creature had grown bolder. The climax of this chilling sequence happened just a couple of nights ago. Amid the deafening silence of the night, they heard a tree break. The sound was so terrifying it made them forget their security shotgun on the porch and rush inside their house, visibly shaken. Dad had to muster the courage and step outside with his son to retrieve the firearm. 
The aftermath revealed a broken tree not more than 30 feet from the house. Intriguingly, this coincided with an incoming hurricane. And honestly, the family wondered if maybe the atmospheric changes were affecting the behavior of this creature. Further exploration led them to discover a tree structure, ingeniously engineered and not ingenio, ingeniously engineered and not characteristic of natural fall, that seemed to provide an overlook of their home. They found handprints too, that were hard to remove due to the oily residue. They even found wood chippings and what seemed to be possible droppings of the creature. On recounting their experiences, they also remembered an incident from the previous year, where they heard fast approaching footsteps in the stillness of the night. It prompted an instinctual sprint towards the safety of their house. One intriguing finding is how these events seem to correspond with the family's use of a hookah, a variable that changed in their daily routine. Unsettling prints were discovered on the windows and most strangely, only on the windows through which the interiors of the house could be seen. As the mystery deepens, the family prepares for the upcoming storm, left with more questions than answers. Are these series of events caused by Bigfoot, as they suspect? Or is there another explanation? I'll let you be the judge. But let me know if you guys have heard anything like this. Bigfoot being attracted to a hookah, the oily residue of Prince, the makeshift home that allowed him to peer into their house. Captured in Tampa, Florida, more specifically the Eagles golf course, a group of guys ready to tee off see these two massive 11-foot gators fighting near the pond. You can see they're twisted up and it's hard to tell who has the upper hand, but it appears the larger one is getting the better of the smaller one. Now this isn't as uncommon as you might think, it's just pretty uncommon to catch it on film on a golf course. Gators fighting like this is usually because of one of three things. Territorial disputes, gators are very territorial and a larger gator may attack a smaller one that has wandered into his territory. Or two gators of similar size might be fighting over prime real estate. Next is mating rights, male gators often fight over the right to mate with females. These fights can be quite aggressive and it's not uncommon for the gators to inflict serious injuries on each other. And last but not least is food. If food is scarce, alligators may fight over prey or a specific hunting ground. This is less common than territorial or mating disputes, but can occur under the right conditions. After the two unlock from each other, the other gator is visibly tired and shaken. You can actually hear the man say, This one can barely stand up. His buddy quickly chimes in saying, uh, I wouldn't say that. He can still be on you in a few seconds. Eventually, the two gators make it back into the water. It's cool to see the crowd that is gathered to watch the battle. There seems to be a backup on the tee box, as they say. Another cool thing is that the man was able to pick up an alligator tooth. And if you look around during the video, there looks to be a few of them on the ground. Really cool souvenirs. I bet if we asked him, though, I'm pretty sure he'd say having both his legs still connected to his body is a better souvenir. Anyhow, awesome footage. Do not look for your golf ball near that water. Over the years, countless sightings of an unidentified aerial object have been reported over Medellin, Colombia sparking speculations of an extraterrestrial vehicle observing the region. A collection of these occurrences was put together by the Instagram user BD Maestro Number 1. The most recent sighting occurred on August 3rd of 2022 as a group of tourists spotted an unusual object hovering near the Medellin airport. As you can see from the video, the object is distinctly different from the plane that is flying just beneath it. Before this, on June 27th, a similar object was reported hovering above the city, and it was sighted again on April 9th. Here, the object seems to be moving rather than remaining stationary. The sightings continued on January 10th, and it was even reported as far back as December of 2020, where it was observed amid thick clouds. There is a long history of UFO sightings in Colombia, with hundreds of reports registered over the past several decades. 
Adding to the mystery and eeriness of these sightings are stories of a UFO-obsessed cult that disappeared in the late 1990s. Stella Maris was a doomsday cult established in Cartagena, Colombia in 1989 by Rodolfo Perez. The group predicted an apocalyptic event that would spell disaster for humanity. As per their charismatic leader, survival was only possible through contact with an alien race that would select a few chosen to evacuate the planet. Now, while this sounds like typical doomsday cult rhetoric, the events of June and July of 1999 make this story truly extraordinary. Local law enforcement had been closely monitoring the cult's activities due to a growing number of reports from concerned relatives, who were worried their family members were being manipulated and could be in danger. In July of 1999, increased activity was observed at the Stella Maris compound. Up to 100 members, including entire families, were seen heading into the wilderness, apparently preparing for some kind of event. Officially, they were going to their annual retreat in the Sierra Nevada mountains. However, it soon became clear they were headed towards a jungle area known for frequent UFO sightings. After that, no contact was ever made with them again. It was as if the entire group of 100 vanished without a trace. After an extensive search, no sign of the group was found. Their compound remained untouched. No one returned. All their possessions were still there. But again, the entire property eerily deserted. Despite a thorough search of the area, no evidence, bodies, or personal belongings were ever found. The disappearance of all 100 members sparked numerous theories. Some suggested a mass suicide akin to Jonestown, but no bodies were found. Others believed they might have been abducted, as the wilderness they were last seen in is known to have dangerous tribes. The idea was initially floated that they'd been abducted due to the area they were last seen in being notorious for militant activity. However, no ransom demands came through, and there was no tangible proof to support the kidnapping theory. After endless months of thorough searching with virtually no substantial leads, speculation started to shift towards the actual possibility of alien abduction. Considering their faith in their quest to find these UFOs, it was an eerily fitting assumption, and it started to gain steam. The perplexing disappearance of as many as 100 individuals without a trace is indeed baffling. The fate of the Stella Maris cult still remains shrouded in mystery to this day. Over time, a few marginal members have stepped forward, expressing their skepticism towards the existence of aliens. But this does nothing to explain the whereabouts of the people who walked into the jungle that fateful date in July of 1999. None of them have ever turned up. And if all of this isn't eerie enough, the entire 100-member count of the Stella Maris cult still appears on Columbia's list of missing persons. And the investigation is yet to find closure. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is unreal. This next eerie snapshot was shared with us by viewer Carol Botha. She tells us that this disconcerting picture has been hanging in her friend's childhood house for years. It's been there since the parents purchased the property decades ago, a part of the house's history they chose to keep. The photograph shows a horse standing rigid at full attention, but if you look closer into the background, you'll see a mysterious shadow that suggests the presence of a rider on the horse. Now, that's spine tingling in itself, but there's more. The homeowner recounts that often, swarms of flies, as many as a hundred, gather on the picture frame. You can even spot a fly in the top left-hand corner of this image. Now, if you delve into the paranormal realm, Many experts propose that if a particular location or item attracts a swarm of flies, it might signify a curse or a demonic presence. Through the ages, flies have symbolically been linked to death and pestilence. Take for example the Mesopotamian deity Nurgle, often associated with death. He represents suffering and catastrophe and is commonly represented as a swarm of flies. Later on, Christians began associating him with demonic entities. So it's fair to ask, what's the story with this photograph? What's the reason for the shadowy rider and the peculiar attraction of hundreds of flies to its frame? Honestly, the more you examine the image, the more disturbing it comes. Now, while I do think it's sad that these beautiful animals are locked in this small area, I'm not going to get on a soapbox here. This cool video here taken by a park goer catches the moment a bird somehow finds its way inside the lion enclosure. The bird is looking for a way out and flies across the enclosure. 
immediately catching the attention of the cats, and they're hot on his heels. The hunting instinct is so strong in these animals. Look at how she leaps off that rock and scaled the fence to grab the bird. Gosh, they're so agile. Now, picture yourself doing that. Right. Same here. Very, very impressive. Incredible footage here of a bald eagle swooping down to catch a fish. Watch. It's so impressive, it eats the fish mid-flight. Just beautiful creatures. I mean, this guy isn't messing around. As the video is about to end, it looks like he's just on to the next fish. Amazing footage here from Old Score Outdoor. Amazing footage here from Old Skull Outdoor taken in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. A man and a few of his buddies were first on scene for this battle between a black bear and a feral hog. And before we talk about the details, this footage shows two of the most powerful creatures in these mountains, hands down. I mean, this bear is trying to drag this hog up the mountain and the hog is holding his own. He even gets loose from the bear. A viewer from the area put this in perspective. He said that this just isn't some feral hog that bear is trying to tear apart. That's a Russian Razorback. They were released in this area over a hundred years ago for sport hunting. They haven't completely taken over like the feral hogs in the other parts of the country, but they do tend to get a lot bigger and they are definitely a lot tougher. It's just amazing footage and it's hard not to go back and forth marveling at the strength of these creatures. The bear eventually overtakes the hog and the footage is eh. I'll let you check it out yourself. Plus, it's over 15. Just a wonderful camera capture to remind us how small we are in this world. This video is pretty good. As you can see, the dogs are guarding this gas station. Taken somewhere in India, you'll quickly see why the dogs are making all this racket. Yep. Some lionesses have made their way to the gas station. The dogs are obviously no match for these lions. Now, I don't know if they're there to protect the gas station or if they're just wild dogs, but they're obviously no match for these lions. And probably the craziest part of this entire video is when those headlights pop up on the top left of our screen. I mean, can you guys imagine driving by a gas station and seeing two lions roaming the parking lot? You wanna take a quick walk to 7-Eleven and you have to worry about a lion attack? The world is amazing. We're all aware that parrots have the ability to mimic human speech, with numerous amusing and endearing videos on the internet as proof. But were you aware that the other bird species can also exhibit this ability? A video posted by Real Horror Talk on TikTok showcases a raven at the beach exhibiting such a capability. Suddenly, the raven breaks into speech with a deep, eerily human voice. Take a listen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. If this were a parrot, the scenario might be perceived as comical, yet hearing these words from a large, glossy black raven imparts a rather sinister undertone, if I do say so myself. One viewer mentioned how disturbing it would be to walk through the woods late at night, only to hear such a voice. Come on. Good boy. On top of that, folklore often associates ravens with misfortune and death. But they can also symbolize foresight and revelation, lest we forget. In Swedish mythology, they are considered the spirits of those who were murdered and did not receive a Christian burial. While in German tales, they represent lost souls. 
Whether it's the bird's symbolic significance or its particular spine-chilling voice that makes this video so unsettling, it's likely that your next encounter with the wild raven will evoke a different reaction. This is just some really cool footage of some wild boars and their piglets. They're just traipsing through this little stream. I've featured this guy on this channel before, Michael Outside. He has some awesome trail camera footage. I mean, this guy really knows where to put these trail cameras. His content is always chock full of wild animals. I think he's out in Arizona, but always has some really cool mountain lions and just has some really good stuff, so check him out. <laughs> 